M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel Rudtail 470 Dual Band VHF, UHF and Airband Marine Band PMR GMRS. Excellent little set, really enjoy mine. And look at all these bands it covers. It's got broadcast radio, it's got airband, 200 megahertz, 2 meters, 70 centimeters, and the weather channels. So just a quick one with the programming software really. The link is in the description for this download. Just go to here where it says Radtel 470 English programming software. Now you have got further down, you've got some software here. So we are gonna have a little play with that eventually. And it does say it's a 10 watt radio. Mm, I think I tested it, it's, it's, it's higher than five. That's all I can say. So firmware to expand the frequency, but thing is you've got old 10 watts. Um, you've got 1.24A, 1.23A, then you've got firmware to expand. So there's quite a few to choose from. Now I wouldn't like to, to risk it too much, but anyway, I'm gonna download one and we'll have a look at that in a sec. But the first thing we're gonna do is download the software like so. You just click the programming software, click it up here. And it's a Bofun cable, by the way, just a standard UV5R Bofun cable. Just gonna run this software again just to show you how to run it. You just go next, 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 usual thing. And then eventually it'll say launch, but we've already launched it. <laughs> okay, so let's just close that one down and we'll look at the one we've already got. And it gives you this little green radio that you open. So cable connected, right click, device manager here. Double click and we're on COM8 by the way. So just take a note of your COM number. Then at the top here, go, just go to settings, port. And you get this window here, select COM8, like so, click OK. And then we're gonna go read, click OK. And it reads. It may work with Chirp, that's for another video, but you can see it reads. You can even change the boot up picture if we choose one here to change, so let's go to this one here, number five, channel five. We'll put in uh, 145.775. That's the repeater frequency. We don't need receive tone, but we need a transmit tone, uh, which was just here, which is 94.8 underneath TXQT. There you go, 94.8. We do need the transmit frequency, so we have a 600 megahertz, sorry, 600 kilohertz shift. So we'll go 145.175, I believe. So you don't put a shift, you actually put in the receive and transmit frequencies because repeaters work, receive and transmit on different frequencies. We can set the power, I'll leave it on high for now. The bandwidth, I'll leave it on wide. And then we can give it a name. I'm not sure what that one's called, so we just call it GB3, okay? It's literally that easy, and you can put in simplex frequencies if you want. Then you just write to the radio. I know it's in Chinese, but you click write, this window appears, and then click the Chinese box here. And it writes, and you can see the screen. Ta-da! And to go with this radio, to go into memory mode, you hold down the back, see what, the, see what my finger is? Hold that down. And we've gone into memory mode. You can see HubNet there. And if you look at the programming software, now remember to close this window. Now, but anyway, you can see with the programming software that number one is HubNet. If we go up with the arrow, two is GB3WR, and there's the names there and so on so it's it's working great and uh, this th this does have a built-in torch it does have broadcast radio as well and to go to the a and the b you just press a and b like so torch is on the side here there are twin pttt's but you have to tell it that you want the bottom ptt to be a ptt in the settings at the moment it's not even programmed so let's have a quick look at what the button programming system is using this software. So we'll go at the top here, it says edit. We'll go to 
optional features. Okay, let's see what we can find. So you can tell it to boot up on a certain frequency. So here on the A band, we can say to it, let's boot up on my node, which is 434.5550. And on the B band, let's tell it to, oh, it's already there, my favorite air band frequency, which is 133850 above me. I'm gonna do some some fun air, airplane spotting videos soon. You'll be, that you'll enjoy that, because I'm gonna do hundreds of planes flying over and then get their live data and live video of them flying as well. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Mm. Squelch level, timeout, you want that to about 180. I think that's three minutes talking. You can change your power on the A and B band. Well, we're not gonna transmit on the air band, are we? So uh, it won't even let us. Now oh, and this one actually allows you to have a shift. Well, that's interesting that it allows that on in VFO mode, but not memory mode. That's really cool that it does that. But we want that off. But you can put an offset. That's yeah. Auto backlight. There you go. There's our backlight. Voice prompt. Yeah, I like that on. I like the backlight. I like the radio talking to me. You can display channel and name and channel and frequency. Hmm. I didn't know you could do that. Channel and name and channel and frequency. Cool. So we'll, we'll turn that on. I was just seeing, all I could see was just channel. Let's do channel and frequency. I think I prefer that, to be honest. And it, yes, it does do DM, DTM. I just key the mic and type on it. Lamp. I can't see the buttons. Anyone see the buttons? A and B. You know, the side button. Here it is here, found it. S-K-E-Y short is, if I hold it for a short time, it says P-T-T-B. So it is saying that it is working as a P-T-T -T on the B, but you can tell it to change the power. You can tell it to scan, which I think is probably more useful because I only need one P-T-T -T really. So I'm going to tell it to scan on the short press and on the long press, I'm going to, let me think now, change the power. Oh no, I'm going to put the weather channels on. I know we don't get them in the UK, but I'm going to put it on anyway. And then power on, we can actually add a photograph if we want. Um, so that's all good. Beeps, tones, there's quite a few settings that we can play with, isn't there? So just close that. I'm gonna click save so we don't lose that. Save it to the same place. Save, and then it's gonna to ask to overwrite. We're gonna go yes. We've saved that. Now let's have a quick look what else we got here. Edit at the top. DTMF, you can add memories if you want. Programs, do another one. Contacts. Hmm, what's that? Contacts. I don't even know what that is. Someone tell me. And then we'll go file. We can go save. We can't. I can't see that we can import. We can go new, save, open a file. So we can open the file we just saved. We can read and write. We've got some help section there, which gives you the the version by the looks of it. And then we'll just write that to the radio. Let's click it again. Not letting me, ah, there it is, a bit of a delay on that. Then click right, okay, and it's writing fine, the top LED's flashing. So that's it, we'll do a separate video program in this with Chirp, I think. It works great, it doesn't, you can see that it's booted up now on the A band, it's got my, my air band channel and it's automatically selects AM. On the um, on the B band that is, and on the A band it's got my node, which is in 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 this house. See if I can get that to quickly fire up. It's on, and in the background you'll see my G7 RPG control panel for my All Star node. Let's just turn it up. We're not really hearing anything, and it looks like it is receiving. So I'm guessing that we've got the wrong tone set. It's got to be 77. Let's put it into audio test, and. Uh, have a listen. Yeah, I've got a feeling we set the tone wrong on that. Oh, I just realised why we're not hearing it. We've got the uh, programming cable plugged in, so let's. Well, I think we can unplug it and still record. Yeah. Let's select Hubnet again. Working great. Well, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I'll make a. I'll make another one doing 
the firmware soon. On um, this radio, I think it was like £22 delivered. So you get a colour screen VHF, UHF radio that does airband quite well. Not brilliant, but remember, a decent airband scanner is hundreds of pounds. This was £25 delivered. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Links in the description. And if you'd like a G7RPG Hubnet node, just contact G7RPG at hotmail.com. Bye for now.